what is up everybody this is Lyle with no hippie trucking and transportation got on my super trucker headset right now but I gotta tell you I feel far from a super trucker with the speeds I've been traveling at lately so you know prime trucks are governed company trucks are governed at a certain speed I'm not sure what that speed is I think it's like 62 and then lease drivers trucks are governed at 65 now I think they're actually governed at 64 and 61 but that's the topic of another discussion but uh, you know back when I was in TNT training and when me and my trainer teamed up and rode together for a while we went everywhere 65 miles an hour in this Freightliner I mean I don't think we ever didn't go 65 miles an hour when we were on a on a highway road conditions permitting things like that but uh, you know when I got into this Peterbilt I thought I was gonna do the same thing got out there on the highway out there eating it up 65 miles an hour and the weekly report came out on fuel economy and I was damn near at the bottom of the fleet and I'm not talking about my fleet managers fleet I'm talking about primes fleet now you got to work hard to get to the bottom of the fleet so you know outside of you know kind of being embarrassed by that number and nobody mentioned anything about it I just happened to see it on the app after they sent me the miles per gallon I think I was like 7.2 something so I said uh, you know I got to make some changes because if that's really the case then I'm like wasting a lot of money so I said you know what I'm gonna have to back this shit down so the goal I made for myself, which is kind of what I've been sticking by, is if I'm driving at night, there's not a lot of trucks around, I'm going to be driving like 59, somewhere in that area, maybe 60. And then during the day, I'm going to go around 62 miles an hour. So I've been doing that for the last, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks. And when the new f averages came out for uh, the fleet, I think I was... I, I didn't look at where I was at as far as Prime's fleet, but I did notice that I was number four on my dispatcher's fleet. And the fuel mileage anywhere, somewhere around, I think eight, a little over eight and a half, something like that. <clears throat> so I will be doing a video on uh, the Peterbilt that I'm driving versus the Freightliner that... Uh, I had been driving with my trainer but uh, one thing that I needed to separate out was these definitely get worse fuel economy so all those days of driving 65 carefree and all that stuff and still getting you know let me back up a little bit so when I was with my trainer we were always driving 65 miles an hour and we were always like in the middle of the fleet you know 8.4 8.5 sometimes 8.6 miles a gallon and uh, you know so I guess those days are over so I'm gonna trade a little bit of this for slowing it down a little bit and it's not like I've been on any runs that have uh, you know have made it necessary for me to drive 65 miles an hour it does kind of help you at the end of the day when you have that extra 30 minutes or whatever uh, to find a spot or something like that but uh, anyway if you happen to see somebody just moseying along, you know, on the highway, it's probably going to be me and my little silver Peterbilt. Anyway, that's all. Just wanted to kind of update you on that. Sorry I haven't been able to get to any comments or anything lately. I got a, you know, if you've been keeping up, I was at the uh, Pittston Terminal a while back. Or a few days ago and I got well let's say over New Year's Day and all that and I got a text from night dispatch and they said get on I-80 and just drive as far as you can you know they gave me a city just to put in the GPS but you know it was kind of blind faith that I kind of followed in that uh, so I just started driving and about 200 miles into the drive, I got a dispatch load that was going to be picking up kind of 
about the deadhead was gonna be about 400 miles it was picking up on the uh, border of West Virginia and Ohio uh, and that load is going out to Utah so uh, this load it by itself is not a great or the, the load by itself is a decent paying load things like that but with how it's falling up you know on you know as far as paychecks and all that kind of stuff goes it you know a shorter load for that would have been better but that was one of the uh, things that I told my fleet manager was just get me on whatever load you need to get me on do not be worried about trying to fit something into some pay period so they're giving me a lot more time on this load than I really need they gave it to me I think I picked it up on the second and it's delivering or the scheduled delivery is on the sixth late at night so I am let me take a look and see what uh, well I think it's the third I don't want to go through all that it's pretty I think it's the third so I have uh, three more days to get it there I'm 980 something miles away and uh, I'm in Iowa right now so what I'm gonna try to do is just I don't want to tell them to reschedule it or drop it at Salt Lake City or anything like that until after I've had a chance to see what I-80 looks like because I may end up needing all that time to get out there. You never know when you're dealing with I-80. But uh, one thing I am happy about, unless you see me in a ditch on the side of the road, is uh, getting out of that northeast. The weather, you know, I, I looked at uh, an application that I have, a weather app, and it didn't show any thing about uh, snow or anything like that uh, in the forecast but uh, it was some pretty heavy snow here for about uh, an hour so nothing that sustained or anything like that but uh, definitely some heavy snow anyway be on the lookout for my video Peterbilt versus Freightliner going over what I like about uh, each one and what I dislike about each one I'll try to do that to tomorrow after my drive shift is over but i do appreciate you guys support and stopping by my channel it is much appreciated um i'm gonna come back here get some rest comment subscribe i'm out